What's up YouTube, my name is Sergio and congratulations on another week of life because that means you can play more video games. Uh, today I'm bringing you all the start of an awesome new series where I'm going to be talking about the awesome new video games coming out this week specifically for PlayStation. Uh, but because of the nature of how the game industry works, be sure to keep in mind that this is information this that this information is subject to change without notice. I also want to mention that this list is in no particular order and this list is for informational purposes only. Now that being said, let's get started. All right, so first on the list we have Chronicles of Teddy Harmony of Exitus. It's coming out March 29th. Uh, it's made. It's made by Exis Games, and the summary is as follows: Action adventure RPG elements fused together with lavish visuals to create a nostalgic world. Navigate your way through hordes of nefarious monsters and massive boss battles in retro pixelated 2D glory. Solve puzzles, converse with locals, and gain skills to restore the hope to the once peaceful Exitus. Unfortunately, oh, it does say uh, it's a role-playing game and it's rated E for everyone. It looks like it's going to be pretty dope. Uh, I don't see any pictures here, so I can't really see what type of game it is. But it's a role-playing game. But I, what I meant is like the type of textures and stuff. Anyways, uh, the graphics, like 2D, 3D stuff like that. That's what I meant. <clears throat> All right. Next, we have Knights of Azor. Uh, the developer is Gust. It's being published by Koei Tecco Games. It's a role-playing game, and unfortunately, that's all the details that they have provided here for me. Let me check if um, let's see, Knights of Azor. Oh, here, 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 here. It's available digital and retail, and Knights of Azor. Save the world or the life of one girl. The world was once ruled by by the Night Lord, and the. In that world lived a saint destined to become a sacrifice to the Night Lord and a holy knight with incredible power. The meeting of the girls changed the fate of the world. Uh, that's a... Doesn't really tell us much. Or this is a little confusing. Anyways, so that's your second game of the week. Then we have um, MLB The Show 2016. Published by Sony Computer Entertainment America. Coming on March 29th. It's uh, developed by Sony Computer Entertainment America San Diego Studios. It's a sports genre and again rated E for everyone. MLB The Show is one that I'm actually looking forward to just because I actually like the gameplay. I'm not a big sports fan. I do like playing basketball. I mean basketball, baseball, football. I like playing sports but not really as like competitive, more like hobbies. But I don't really know much about them but I do like playing um, MLB The Show. I have MLB The Show 15. And I had a lot of fun with it, so I'm lo I'm actually looking forward to it. MLB The Show 2016. Then we have Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5, Order Up. Uh, published by Telltale Games, developed by Telltale Games. It's an action adventure, and again, it's a uh, Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5, Order Up. And the summary is as follows. In the upcoming Episode 5, on a trip to Ivor, Jesse and friends head to an abandoned temple holding mysterious treasures. Ambushed by former... Oclet, Aiden, and his crew, our heroes find themselves in an entirely new world, Sky City. As they explore, the others find that resources are at a dot dot dot, that's what I have right there, at a premium, and nothing but the void exists below the known world. And Aiden convinces Sky City's ruler that the new order of the, of the stone are up to no good. You'll need to make a sum. You'll need to make some tough choices to clear your name and keep Aiden from destroying an innocent world. So that's episode 5 for you. Then we have Walking Dead, The Walking Dead Michonne, episode 2, Give No Shelter. Uh, again, developed and published by Telltale Games. This one's an adventure and the summary is as follows. Surrounded by the dead and mis mistrustful of living you. What? Surrounded by the dead and mistrustful and mistrustful of the living, you as Michonne will choose how the story flows through the choices you make in this three-part episodic miniseries. Oh, so episode two, there's only one more episode left after that. Then we have the Resident Evil 6 uh, remastered remake, whatever you want to call it, for PlayStation 4, published by Capcom, developed by Capcom. It's an action adventure. Um, this game was originally released on the PS3 uh, era of con consoles, and let's see. 
Resident Evil 6 is a survival horror game that continues to struggle against the series' signature zombie inducing bioterror, while raising the bar with all new game functionality. Players enjoy diverse play explaining Diverse play experience highlighted by the ability to select between three scenarios featuring multiple characters and entwined storylines. Within these car within these scenarios, both stories and action cross paths. Additional features include zombies as well as what? How is that even? Additional features include zombies. Resident Evil is a zombie game. I don't get why that would be additional feature. That's weird. Uh, as well as new enemies, upgraded fire. Upgradable firepower and characters, vehicle based options, the minigame based mercenaries mode, and and single player and co-op play options. So I haven't actually got the chance to play Resident Evil 6. I played the demo, but I didn't play enough to be able to give a opinion on this. But uh, I do like the Resident Evil uh, series, so I'm actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it's coming to the PlayStation 4. Next we have no time to explain. Published by Tiny Build Games, developed by Tiny Build Games. Uh, March 20, release date March 29th. It's an action game. Uh, no Time to Explain is a game about time paradoxes, jetpack, guns, and ribs in people's eyes. It's a comedy platformer featuring great music, voice acting, and gameplay that becomes more ridiculous as you go. That's it for that. Then, let's see. Let's see if there's any other games coming out this week. We have Adam's Venture Origins. This one's actually coming out on April 1st. So that's this Friday. Uh, embark on a, bold, on a bold adventure in Adam's Venture, Adam's Venture Origins. Set in the, roaming, in the Roaring Twenties, you'll explore ancient ruins and re recover mysterious artifacts. Together with your trusted accomplice, Evelyn, you will have to outsmart the evil Claire Vox Company. Then we have Arcade Archives Life Forces, PlayStation 4 Digital. Life Force is a shooter originally released in 1986. Players challenge the aggressions from a bacteria special force known as Salamander. This game includes Salamander, which is the Japanese version of the game, and Life Force, which is the rearranged version released in 1987. So it comes with two games? Yes, I don't understand that. Uh, we have, um, ooh, Phoenix Fura. Phoenix Fura mechanics are unique yet simple. Infinite jump and dash paired with instant restarts. Race through hundreds of increasingly difficult levels with new mechanics like fire, ice, and jump portals. We also have Griffon, Griffonite Epic. Griffonite Epic is a 2D medieval shoot 'em up that mixes elements from classic shooters, including exploration and dual like boss battles. It tells the story of Sir Oliver and, a and Aquila, an accomplished knight with his loyal griffin that are forced back to the adventure once again. We have, um, looks like that's it. Oh, another one right here. Organic, Organic Panic. Organic Panic is a super spooky platformer with totally destruct destructible environments and dynamic fluids. Smash through earth. Create and turn into water, control gravity, and set it all on fire as you battle your and puzzle your way through more than 200 levels. You also have Peacefall. Uh, Peacefall. The floating islands of Peacefall were once the site of ancient spiritual monuments dedicated to tranquility. Since the islands have fallen out of balance, and you must rebuild the land piece by piece and restore the monuments. Peacefall is a geometric puzzle game set in an abstract floating world. Are you ready to accept the challenge and restore harmony to the islands? This actually, I mean, I don't know what the gameplay looks like from what I see from the pictures. It looks like kind of treacherous-y, but it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, we have another baseball game. I didn't know. Uh, we have another baseball coming out. Uh, RBI 2016, PlayStation 4 Digital. Make the play of your favorite Major League Baseball team and win the World Series. RBI 2016 features enhanced lighting and graphics, revamped defense AI, an improved battling system, and the ability to sim through games in season mode. See, so this one's less realistic from, I mean, the graph from what I, I'm not sure. I still prefer MLB The Show though. And, oh, last one, Unepic. Daniel was just an average guy 
video game player, big fan of sci-fi movies, and a novice RPG player. In the midst of an RPG, he was teleported to a castle. Daniel believed that he was having a massive hallucination. Eager to keep playing within the RPG to create his own adventure, he decides to go along the ride until his delirium comes to an end. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so that's it for this week. We have a ton of stuff coming out. Um, uh, on Tuesday, so again, that's uh, March 29th, 2016. Uh, there are there is a game coming out on April 1st, and that's on Friday, and another one coming out Thursday. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is I'm gonna start trying to do this on a weekly basis, letting you guys know what's new coming to PlayStation. Uh, um, the reason I'm focusing on PlayStation is because that's my preferred platform of choice. Every once in a while, I will make videos for Xbox and all these other stuff. It would be a super long video if I did everything. So, um, again, um, if I had to pick one game that I'm most looking forward to from the ones that were mentioned, to be honest, uh, surprisingly enough, I'm not a sports fan. However, for some reason, there's something about MLB The Show, maybe because it has a lot of RPG elements. Uh, I'm not sure, but I really like uh, MLB, so that's probably the, um, the one that I'm looking forward um, to the most. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking of getting or what you're looking forward to the most this week. Again, I'm Sergio. You're watching The Color Red. This has been um, new games coming out this week for PlayStation 4, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like this video, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. And again, let me know what you guys think of this video. What would you like? Uh, how do you think I can improve it? And stuff like that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.